questions we're out here in Glen Allen at Curly's and uh, all right let's see how this goes hey guys how's it going hey, how you doing? Um, where are you guys from 
Um, Plainfield. Plainfield? Yes. That's cool. You guys have been doing this a long time? Um, yeah, we've been together almost going on four years now. Very cool. You guys play a lot of gigs around here and stuff like that? Mostly suburbs, yeah. Mostly yeah. suburbs? That's cool, yeah. that's cool. Anywhere from here to the city, you know, pretty much. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, are you guys working on like a full length or anything like that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Done. Yeah, one's not completely out yet. Hopefully, in the next couple months here. So. All right. Sounds good. Um, and then the last thing I pretty much just want to say is, if you can just talk about like, just you know, I mean, obviously it's anywhere, any kind of music, but for me, the Midwest seems to be the biggest struggle to try to pursue what you want to do. Um, so, <laughs> just my my biased opinion as being a starving artist myself, but. Um, <laughs> You know, if you just want to talk about like what you guys do to make, you know, just come to a show happen on a weekly basis and stuff like that. Um, well, yeah, you know, as far as we can spread ourselves now, we're just trying to play anywhere and anywhere, I guess, okay. most weekends at this point. And, uh, All right. Spread our name. Uh, any demos, demos. <laughs> um, and, you know, is it, I, I can understand, it's always probably hard to, you know, coordinate like work schedules and practices and stuff like that. So we have a pretty tight uh, regimen. Uh, yeah. Times a week. So Monday, you guys Monday, got Friday. you guys got a system down. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's yeah, good. I mean, obviously, that's what you kind of that's what you got to do. Obviously, together. if you want to be a band, but <laughs> you know, just kind of that's kind of my theme of what I'm doing here, just because there's so many bands out there, and uh, it's just tough to uh, it's tough if you really want to do it for a living. Obviously, you know. Everybody's gonna tell you you can't and all this stuff. So, but I don't know. That's just kind of my theme. So, yeah, so mine is just keep it fun. Just, fun doing. just having fun. Yeah, just you as long show as that it's fun. Make just as, fun. Right, right. You're not forcing it or anything like that. All right. Well, thank you guys very much, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys around sometime. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.
right. Uh, can you guys just state the name of your band again? Three and Counting. Very cool. I've actually heard of you guys before, so that's really cool. I've heard your CD. You guys are really good. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to, you know, talk to you guys about where you guys from. Right here. Right here. Glen right Ellen. Okay. Okay. Naperville. Um, Naperville. Yeah, Naperville. All right. Cool. 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 I gotcha. And I just wanted. I'm, the theme of what I'm doing is just talking about like, you know, I mean, obviously being an artist, being a musician, whatever, is always a struggle wherever you go, but I'm kind of doing the theme of like the Midwest struggle um, and just trying to like, I mean, obviously a lot of people, you know, will do it, just they'll work their job and then they'll play their shows on, on the weekend, but some people want to go all the way, so, you know, it just depends on what your head feels like, but um, I just wanted if you guys could just like just talk about that for a minute or something like that. Anyone want to take uh, it? <laughs> well, it's not easy. Um, that's for sure. It's definitely a lot of work. Um, especially us, you know, we're playing a lot of shows. Uh, we're trying to stay as busy as we can, and it's not like the money's there. But right, right. It's also not like we're doing it for the money. Either, um, so. Right, and do you guys go ahead and just like, uh, you know, like make your own CDs and stuff like that, like fund everything and stuff like that? So far, yeah. So far, yeah. That's cool, that's cool, that's All cool. The money we go, we make goes back into the band. Okay. So. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, and as long as, just, you know, last question, pretty much, you guys enjoy what you do? Definitely. Like, n never any regrets or anything like that? We do it, man. All right, good, good, good. All right, well, thank you guys very much, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys around. Yeah, thanks, YouTube, 3 scmusiccom Check cool. it out. That will do. Yeah, I'll add you guys on MySpace and stuff Great. like that, too. So. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. No problem. Thank you. Can I get a little more of these vocals? Thanks, man. How about the whole place, dude? Yo, 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 yo! Yo, Breakaway Lounge, how you guys doing? We are we see up the you, that's right! So check it out, I'm gonna say big up to all the acts that perform tonight. Yo, please! That's right, he's first on mic. That's right, man. You got to get his show together, bro. So we are BC over you. If you're not too ready to have a good time, make some fucking noise!
That's right. Yo, you know what? Y'all need to turn around and face this way. That'd be nice and shit, you know what I mean? Oh, you guys can come up here with this. Just state the name of your band. We are We Please. See Only You. And where are you guys from? We are from... These guys are from off in the States. I am from Chicago, All by right. way of Birmingham, Alabama. Interesting. I'm actually living in Franklin Park now. How's Birmingham, by the way? I just want to know. It's Honestly, it's, it's awesome. Is it? I, I love Birmingham. Because I've, I've wanted to go down south to fucking it's Alabama cool. and Georgia, but... uh. 
kind of go check out the scene down there. But uh, anyways. You definitely get the southern hospitality. Which is good, which is good. That's good, that's good. Anyways, I just want to like talk to you guys just about like making music in the Midwest and just like, uh, I don't know, just describe the, just the process you go through on the basis of like work and sacrifice and, and even suffering and just like what you do to make what you make happen. I mean, it's, you know, being in any band is always about sacrifice and just being selfless in that nature. I mean, I haven't, dude, I haven't had a job in like three years because I quit my job for this. Sure. And to, you know, get up with these guys and just do something that we all really believe in. Same here, man. It's like left home, pursuing music, was going to go out west to California. Got here, I had a bunch of friends here. The person I was supposed to go out with, west with was uh, pretty much canceled on me, so I stayed in Chicago. Networked, made tons of sacrifices along the way. Countless hours, I'm up in the morning by 7 o'clock in the morning, sometimes earlier, start my grind, get up with these guys, you know, and then constantly shoveling CDs and networking. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, same thing, I guess, along those lines, man. I'm a teacher for kids. <laughs> Five All their parents are coming to see me, so just trying to melt into the world. It's, it's damn hard enough, but it's interesting too. It's got its own little charm. No, I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. I think that's a good thing to bring up, just mixing the two worlds. Um, just because, like, y y you'll be, like, doing some kind of a job or something like that, and people don't even know that you're an artist. And it, it, it's kind of like that just weird, like... It's like a double life. Yeah, it's a double life. Exactly, exactly. That's a great way to put it. Like, it's a duality life that it's just... And for some reason, some people just don't get it. You know what I mean? And it's just, uh, I don't know. Well, and it's also one of those where, you know, we wouldn't be doing this if we didn't believe it. We wouldn't be trying to go as far as we're trying to go if we all three didn't have a belief that we could do something with this. It's also refreshing when you find out that other people believe in us, too. You know, especially, I don't want to say especially, but people that you wouldn't suspect. Like, again, I'm taking it back now to the karate but, like, a lot of my, you know, teachers, a lot of my students come and watch this and so they see this. And, and it's sorry, just, I don't know, it's, it's, a different, it's a different vibe for me because, you know, I don't expect them to like it at all. They, you know, they might be the same. I like that they say that they like it. Take Definitely. Well, well, well. I like <laughs> no. that they say that they like it. Ramsey Green. <laughs> I like no, it. and I mean, like just, it. no, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead. You good? You good? <laughs> and I mean, just to play like at a bar like this, just like on North Avenue, like I, I can't say how many bars I've been to on North Avenue just around here. It was even weird just thinking about coming here and stuff like that, you know. But I mean, I give you guys a lot of credit to even just do a gig here because, you know, it's just not, it's not a scene that would it, you would think you'd see it here. But, you know, I, I give you guys a lot of credit yeah, for even just doing a show. One of those things is a band where you're just trying to get in front of people. And you never know who's gonna, you know, follow you to eight venues, or who's just gonna hate you and boo you until their throats are sore. And it's just, again, yeah, it's having that confidence in what we do enough to go, okay, well, we can go into this where it's a very hip hop crowd and just do what we do. Right. I mean, obviously, as you build as a band, you know, every everybody starts in random places, you know, and we're we're at the place where it's all about the exposure, like you said getting in other venues and just doing whatever it takes to get there. Awesome. Well, it's pretty cold out here, so I don't want to make you guys suffer in this cold, crazy weather. It's not. It's going to get worse, of course. We all know Chicago, but uh, um, I really appreciate you guys just taking the time to do this, and uh, I, I really appreciated the performance. It was really good and uh, different. I, I think you guys have a sound that's a lot more unique than a lot of stuff that's out there like it's popular not popular whatever so i really appreciate what you guys are doing so thank you man thank you definitely shouts out to matt bennett thank Thanks, you man. for coming out definitely support. definitely do we'll do an interview with you anytime cool awesome awesome sounds good all right thanks guys this is the making of oh, matt bennett's you are. film Oh, is this my friend or is this yours? That's yours, my friend. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Matt Bennett, what is the title of your film? Chicago Rockumentary. Chicago Rockumentary. Yeah. I love her. I see what you did there. Congrats.
Superman, bro, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shell. Hmm. Tell us about the Blazing Challenge. Oh man, I won it <laughs> at Buffalo Wild Wings. It was awesome. I'll videotape you. For this. Cool. The, uh, <laughs> Tell us about the Blazing the Challenge. Challenge. Well, you have to eat like twelve of the hottest wings, like the hottest sauce that they have, and it's super hot. When you have to do it in under six minutes. Yeah. And so, like, I just like my friends dared me to do it. We were there just drowning, and I was like, all right, that's cool. And so, like. Uh, yeah, I just I did it in like three minutes and forty seconds. I just plowed through them. That's I got my nuts. I got my picture on the wall there, and I got the shirt, so it was it was well worth. Did they do? Uh, was there any restrictions? <laughs> like, could you not have any liquids for six? Oh minutes? yeah, you can't have that either. Oh, you can't have any. No, no liquids at all. Or like a napkin? Nope. No napkins. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, you just have to do it. And I had this huge crowd, like, cheering for me. <laughs> and then when we left, like, there were all these, like, high school kids outside that cheered again. I got, like, an... Did cold. you wear your Matt Bennett shirt? No. Uh -huh. I wore this shirt because I won it. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. This redhead stepchild. Yeah, I right. hit it with.
That's it. It goes, I try, I. <laughs> it's just, I, I try, I. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs>
now. <laughs> Get off!
Dude Man Bro. Dude Man Bro. All Dude right. Man bro. Dude and, Man Bro. Uh, Dude Man Bro. I just want you guys to talk about like just being artists in the Midwest and artists in the suburbs. Why don't you just ask us what we love about well, music? No, what do you just, love no, about music? Being artists in no, the no, Midwest, no, no, we, we no, grow no, a lot of corn. But, um, and potatoes, because that's what we do in the Midwest, but uh, it's hard because I'm really an artist at heart. Ask me what I love about music. What do you love about music? That's a stupid question. I'll tell you what I like about my band, alright? Alright. I like that my band is fucking raw, it's one of the fucking. Well, I like that music's really expressive. Fucking <laughs> awesome, awesomest bands on earth right now. We're called Dude Man Bro. We're rocking it out of the fucking west sub suburbs of Chicago. I'm not gonna say which suburb. And I like from. to express myself through music, and it's very. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Oh, it's not my Anyways, we are uh, Dude Man Bro. We're um, pretty much gonna be famous within a year time. We're getting famous quick. Talk about what you're doing to do that. Well, um, we're, we're, we've recorded an album, and we're recording an EP in the next two months. Wait, and what we does have EP stand for? EP? What does that stand for? I don't know. What does an EP stand for? Extended play. Extended play. We're recording one of those. Oh, my God. And um, we have a June thing going on. The end of June, we're traveling to New York, and we're doing 10 shows in 10 days. Four of those days will be at Skatopia in Ohio. It's and gonna be I don't pretty know you, dope. I don't know if you dope. know this, but um, Ohio is is pretty much the best place to be if you're a musician. If you're any kind of musician, Ohio is where you want to be. Um, that's where the biggest scene is for pretty much any genre. It's where you want to be, Hall of Fame. Where you want to be. Sorry, go on. We're, we're basically playing Skatopia, Bull Bash, basically. 2010, Bull Bash 10, I guess it's been going on since 2000, this is number 10, basically, and this is this fucking 88 acres of property in Ohio that this dude has built all these fucking skate parks, like three covered skate bowl, pools and bowls and shit, and you know what, we're heading out there with She Likes Todd and Destroy Everything. And we're fucking playing a show with the Dead Milkmen and the Misfits at Skatopia and a shit ton of other bands. Now, now me personally, I'm not a big fan of skateboarding. It's pretty dangerous and you can hurt your fingers. And I, I, um, I do a lot of things with my fingers, like typing on my computer and playing music. And it's just, it's just not me. But, uh, but I'm willing to play music for these, for this, for this. Yeah. All right. We got Dude Man Bro here, hanging out, hanging out, just having fun, going on tour. My name's Noah Corona. This is Dan Jugal and the kid. And, the and, kid. That, and that's it. Yeah. That's a wrap. Is that, is that, oh, that was is zany. It? That was fucking. We're touring good. ten shows in ten days from fucking New York. To fucking bum fuck fucking Ohio, okay? Skatopia Bull Bash 2010. You know, you were raising it. Yeah, talk about the hard, suburbs. Noah. Talk about wanting to strap it's on a guitar when you live in the suburbs. suburbs. I thought we were kind of trying to be hard. The suburbs. I love the suburbs. I love the city. Well, music's really Pretty about much, Dude Man Bro loves everything. Really, everything is really awesome. about being from the streets. People that go. love That's themselves good. are People awesome. Know what it's like coming from where we People come from, you know? People in bands. Are incredibly don't really great. Understand. Um, you know, musicians <laughs> everywhere. We we're not picky. No, I'm great. very picky with my music. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I really, I really don't approve of you saying that. Um, I'm from the. My my message is strong, and it's to rise up. Um. And conquer, and, <laughs> and really, really be open, but be open-minded. Don't. Don't just be a vegetable. All right, I'm here talking with uh, Chris Don, a local guitarist uh, from Villa Park, and uh, I just want him to go ahead and just kind of describe like his artistic process and uh, just how he lives his life and you know what kind of music he'd like to play and stuff like that. So, or you'd like to play, I should say. Okay. So, please well, just go ahead. Well, I'm working on singing a lot, but yeah, the music always comes first. It always starts with like you know some riff or whatever. And I've had songs I've been working on since I was 15. I'm 21 now. So, you know, I'm, I'm always adding on to stuff and whatnot, and it's all starting to come together for me, and 
I've just, you know, I've always been into, you know, the Seattle scene and all, pretty much any, like, underground alternative from the 80s, classic rock and whatnot. Um, that's been my primary influences. I've taken things from everything, though, but, um, you know, I've, I've been in a couple bands. I'm in a band right now, and we're kind of on hiatus, but that's not going to start until next spring. But I'm hoping to have two albums next year. One, a solo album of mine, and then two, another one of my band. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just talk about, like, uh, scene. <laughs> just the scene and just, like, you know, how you live your life on a daily basis and just, uh, like, just yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm still living with my parents. Um, I'm right there, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was raised, you know, completely differently from everybody. I, I haven't gone, I never, I didn't go to school from second grade onward. Um, you know, I was pretty much left to my own, uh, you know, teaching and whatnot, and, it's, it was pretty different, but it benefited me so well, like musically and whatnot. And um, I'm looking to work at Old Town School of Local Music in the next year or so, get a job teaching there. I've got a good rep there, apparently. Cool. And um, the music scene, I would describe as either hardcore metal or totally indie. Like, I'll go try and, you know, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'll go try and have a conversation with a metalhead about something and we'll be like, Oh, you like that? You're a total star, you fucking pussy. And then, you know, I'll go to an indie, a, a, an extreme indie show and I can't have a conversation with any of those guys because they're all like tripping on acid and it's just like, you know, there's no in between. There's no like rock scene. You know? Exactly. It's, it's, it's either one extreme or another. Yep. And then in the middle there, there's some kind of pop punk thing going on with guys in their early 30s doing stuff like that. That's, that's, that's pretty much how I see it. Gotcha. Yeah, no. It's, that's a really, that's a really, really good way to describe it. Yeah. Um, and definitely, like you're talking about the extremes. I'm glad you brought that up because that's what this area is all about. Yeah. You're, you're like either all or nothing around this place, and that's pretty much how you can really survive. So yeah. it's just kind of like that's how we live our lives as artists. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But all right, man. Well, that's really cool, and I think you've pretty much given me enough here. So awesome. uh, this is Mr. Chris Dunn from Villa Park, good guitarist. Hopefully, we'll see him on tour with some band someday. So yeah, that'd be great. Definitely. All right, man, thanks a lot. No problem. Bye. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, my name's Matt Richter, and uh, as you know, I'm in Phoenix Down, which is a heavy metal band, but I play classical guitar at Elmer's College, you know, I'm into lots of different kinds of music, that's why we're all hanging out, because we're all musicians and artists, and I don't know, it's just a big point that um, they, they're making it so much harder for uh, bands and artists to make it these days with uh, shows and venues, I mean... There's a law that was passed a year or two ago where now you have to get an insurance card just to be a booking agent, which is like a couple thousand dollars. And uh, yeah, I mean, it just they're just making it harder for musicians. And, and who do you think is at fault for this? Well, whoever made the law, right? I yeah. guess. I mean, they're just uh, I don't know what their whole motive is against our you know artist types and musician types, but they're just making it that much more difficult for people to do one of the oldest and most simple things in the world, which is just to play music. Give me a show. Sure.
still photos. No recording still photos. Alright, well I got permission from the band. Um, you need to go downstairs to the podium and sign away from the media pass. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, well, can I go do that? Yeah. Just tell me what you got. Well, uh, I guess yeah, it's kind of obvious. It's brutal. Everybody's trying to do their own thing. And you get more guys to work together, it'd probably be a little easier. And just mention what band you're from. That's all about Excellent. You guys were good. Thank you very much. Get to talk about Go ahead, Matt Bennett. Let's hear what you got to say. Just the, 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 like the Chicago music scene and the struggle and just what you guys do to make what happens. That okay, sense. well, we're nowhere. You know, Matt Bennett, we're nowhere. But the Chicago music scene is great. You know, it's still happening. Many people don't understand that it's still happening. It's just that, like, punk rock, man, since 95, since Mr. T Experience, since fucking Queers, since Screechy Weasel, a lot of that's just not happening these days, so we need to bring it back, you know? So, what we're trying to do is we're trying to do exactly that. And I hope that it comes back, but, you know, it's up to all the people. Whoa, here, come here. What do you think? What do you think? Amazing. Hoping, it was amazing. amazing. What did you guys think of like our set? You know, pretty good. He's so it's possible. Guy he is. <laughs> it's possible that we might get that punk rock back. You know? I hope so. I hope so. Thank you, Matt. I hope so. These ladies think so. What do you think, Dave? What's happening? We're trying. To, we're talking about you know local punk rock. You know. Oh, yeah, it's we're fucked. <laughs> we're fucked. But you gotta keep doing it. You I gotta. Think ladies think that it's, it's maybe a possibility. I think it's a possibility. What do you think? Well, this is all weird. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> Alright, we got some good shit. What we got some good shit. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, these ladies, we gotta thank. You know, say thank you. Thank you. Ask us a question. Alright, I just want you guys to talk about, like, the Chicago music scene and just the struggle and what you guys do. And, We're from Lombard. You know, the suburbs, whatever you want to talk about. Just what you guys do to make the shows happen. And yeah, Darren, what do you do to make the shows happen? Well, he's already kind of said. Well, but we got a guy that has tattoos in the band, which was pretty easy. People like tattoos, you know what I mean? Have you Full seen our sleeves. shirts? Our shirts, for, you know. For everyone who wants to follow their dreams and play music, don't fucking do it. It's not fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you do, it's so much it's money. money. In, in the words of Shakespeare, I guess, whatever you do, don't, don't start, start a band. band. Don't, don't fucking start, start a band. band. <laughs> Alright, Matt Bennett, how, what do you think of that? I think that's don't so, start a band. I think that but sounds God, great. I want a cheeseburger. I want a fucking cheeseburger. That's what I need, and, and you need to buy me one because you took my money. Yeah, well, I will. I will. <laughs> we got no money, but we, we don't want to do it. <laughs>